Hello everyone, welcome back. For those of you who expected to see the third installment of Left 4 Dead 2 today, uh, my apologies, I've been having some trouble with the game. It's been uh, really lagged down as you've seen in the videos. And uh, it froze up on me a couple of times today and I didn't want to... Just scrap my recording time, so... Today you're going to see the first installment of Frontline's Fuel of War by THQ Chaos Studios. Really awesome uh, first person shooter game. The online play for this game was, was phenomenal. Uh, I was super bummed when the servers got taken down in 2012, I believe it was, when Chaos Studios went under. An Xbox version of this game was in the works at the time. It never got completed, I don't think, so... Uh, anyways, let's get started. Something's happening. We've known it for a long time. The West knew it. Serious problem. America is addicted to oil. oil, oil, oil. It's inconceivable to me that our children will be able to maintain the American way of life and that the world won't be resource based wars of all kinds. The East knew it. Known it for a century. There is no doubt about our absolute and complete dependence on oil. Without oil, civilization as we know it could not exist. Oil was running out. It's what we grew up in. Post Middle East, post peak oil, post everything. What they called the long emergency. It started slow. Little things at first, lines at the pump. That hot summer of 2008, when the blackout started lasting weeks. The avian influenza hit in 09. I got taken out of school when there wasn't enough vaccine. They said it would get better. Something would save Biofuels, solar power, cleaner nuke plants maybe. The depression hit in 2012. Africa ran out of food, then we did too. People stopped trying to do anything about the problems and just tried to survive. We'd watched them starve for 40 years and it didn't seem real. But pretty soon the scenes we used to watch on the news were happening just down the street. It's been happening for years. Now we're at the tipping point. I was 16 when the Chinese and the Russians figured out they'd rather fight us than each other. We didn't waste time forming the coalition. Now, we're staring each other down across the last wells in the Caspian. I left school for the affiliated press and they sent me overseas. Out here in Turkmenistan you can see it clearer. In little prefab towns the oil boom left in Central Asia. This is where it's going to happen in towns too small to have a name, built in two weeks by oil industry contractors. It's 2024, the 21st century. People ask me how we let this happen. I tell them, we always knew. The storm is coming. Folks, 
Kirk to know we're taking care of their energy needs. Try not to get too bored in that town, gentlemen. You'll be out of there in a couple of weeks. Command him. <laughs> So this is the beginning of the game. Uh, you'll probably see the uh, first part to the first level here. The levels are split up into a couple different sections, so I'll probably play one section of a level per video, because I know when the videos get too long. Another cool thing about the game is definitely the soundtrack. I actually got the soundtrack of the game, so it's pretty cool. Thanks for the update, Skipper. But I'm still waiting for my in-flight meal. <laughs> so, you guys just rotating in? Ah, you must be the local paparazzi. Wise up, Rayleigh. Yeah, we're coming off disaster relief in Anchorage. We're being brought in to control the coalition's oil fields. Staff Sergeant Whitburn, Delta Chalk Leader. Andrews, uh, affiliated press. I'm doing a piece on all the military deployments of the Caspian. I'm gonna make you guys heroes. Too late for that, Pops. I was born a hero. Huh? A hero assigned to guard duty. Interesting. Coming up on the pipe. Welcome to summer camp, boys. You kidding me? They said there was a town. More like a mining camp. It's a job. A uh, pretty valuable dump then. Most of the world's remaining oil is within a hundred miles from here. Is that so, Princeton? Why don't we... Oh, oh, oh shit! What the hell was that? Made it, made it. And so it begins. right from the start. I actually played through this game four or five times before I even discovered this turret. <laughs> One of the coolest things about this game is that uh, you can take the objectives in any way you want. This is 
these games, uh, Call of Duty, like with the damage, you know, when you're hurt, you just find cover and your health goes back up, which is good, because if this game had a set health bar, it would probably be impossible. Oh, that, that was bad. Man, I'm off to just a great start, aren't I, guys? I would have uh, gotten to practice in, but I was not anticipating playing this game. Anticipating uh, part three of Left 4 Dead 2, just like you guys were. Our rocket launcher, as well as an ammo box. Now I'm back up to full ammo. Let's take a look I love how quickly they, you know, were able to set up this entire craft gun and, and all in one of our bases.
I've got the first time. There's all kind of different classes you can play, but you can only play certain classes in certain levels. And right now I got the salt and anti-vehicle, and there's no point in going to anti-vehicle when I picked up one of their rocket launchers. So we spawn at the last checkpoint here and uh fine. Try again. My goodness. However, in the early levels, you get about a million redeployed, so... I'll be alright. And I'm actually get back down the stairs this time. Hold your fire! What? Oh my... I completely forgot I can go from until, until now. First set of objectives complete. Use the additional weapons here to assist you. Good work. Now you've got two heavily armed guard towers at the motor pool, covering the road into the refinery area. I'm displaying them on your HUD. You've got to take them out if we're going to get that road off. Once you do, check the garage for light armor vehicles. Well, that don't sound good. Oh boy. Uh, hello. Um, returning, <laughs> returning to the field of battle. Is there going to be cars right in front of you killing me, but I'm not in the field of battle. Alright. Is, this is one of the funner parts of the game. It's these drones you get. Also, <laughs> nice glitch here where you can uh, pick up to get a max number of those of these uh, hunter drones. You pick it up and it doesn't go away. Just max them out. Maxed out. And let's launch it. So that unlocks the gate. Gates are open. Let's take out that motor pool. Check your gear. They've got this area covered. Get an assault drone on the ground. Okay, that's 
certain. Grab this hunter drone here. Fall back to cover. And then have a little fun. part one of uh, the first level hope you have enjoyed I will film uh, I don't know what, what the next thing I'm gonna film is I'll have to see if I can get um, up for dead 2 working if so I'll go back to that if not I'll continue this so uh, leave a like if you enjoyed you know, comment your suggestions for what you want to see me play and I will get to them as soon as possible uh, share, favorite this, help get this channel going, and uh, thank you for watching. <laughs>